In the early 19th century, Irish nationalists succeeded in getting a limited form of independence for Ireland. It was called Home Rule, and under it there would be a parliament in Dublin by the end of 1914. Unionists in Ulster were furious. Led by Edward Carson and James Craig, they pledged to do whatever was necessary to prevent Home Rule. They signed the Solemn League and Covenant and formed an army called the Ulster Volunteer Force. In November 1913, Professor Owen McNeill wrote an article called The North Began. He called upon nationalists to respond to the UBF, urging them to defend Home Rule or the British government would give in to Unionist threats. A public meeting was arranged for the lecture hall in the Rotunda on November 25, 1913. The orga organisers believed one or two thousand might attend. Instead, the 3,000 capacity room was full and 5,000 more people filled the corridors and spilled out into the street. 8,000 men joined that night with thousands more in the months that followed. The Irish Volunteer Force pledged to defend Home Rule, only resorting to violence if the Ulster Volunteer Force used violence first. Founded to train Irishmen to pr protect the limited independence offered by Home Rule, the IVF would instead play a vital role in the struggle for total Irish independence. <laughs> 